If you do post-prom events or grad night events in the United States, you should check out this video. I'm just closing out a bit and I noticed down to the right, as you'll see in the video, the young man down to the right side, his body language is very different than everyone else's. Something is clearly off, so I go and find out what's going on. What's going on? <laughs> Now, typically a response like that would make you probably chuckle a little bit. And anyone in the audience who heard it, they're certainly going to chuckle. But for the young man, it's not funny, right? He's in a stress state. And these little things, who knows why he couldn't, he felt like he couldn't feel his face. At post-proms and grad nights, these things happen actually quite frequently. They've been going all day. Now they've been going all night. You come in at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and they're exhausted. And so any kind of repressed stress, any kind of unresolved emotional stuff that they've been avoiding can start to come out. Out because through the physical exhaustion that they've created running playing dancing all night they don't have the self-management energy to retain it all and keep it pushed so this is actually quite common and in the early years I didn't realize this I didn't I didn't quite get it but it's a big thing to keep looking for because here's the other catch they're all in a state of hypnosis which again, this is almost like a duh, but you got to really connect it in your own head as a worker. They're all in a state of heightened suggestibility. So in a situation like this, one person who's starting to vent their stress or have stuff bubble up or whatever can quickly pass it along. It becomes infectious and they can pass it along to the rest of the group. And next thing you know, the whole vibe of the show is off and everything's a mess. And if one person up there is that tired, since they've all been going through the same thing all night, it's a good chance that more than one of them is that tired. This is just the first one to show. And there's someone else who, if they start to take that suggestion, take that energetic transfer, it can derail your whole show. So here's what I do. <laughs> All right, you guys are awesome. <laughs> everybody now, everybody, feet flat, seatbelts are on. Gentle, peaceful breath. Give yourself a nice, gentle, peaceful breath in. Breathe out and sleep. Good. I want everybody up here to take a minute and give yourself the gift of color. Think about the color that represents love for you. It's a little different for everyone. What's the color of love? You don't have to say it out loud, just answer in your head. Find that color, share that color with yourself. You had a long day, a lot of activity. Take a minute, just, just love on ourselves for a minute, okay? Let that color go from the top of your head, right down to the bottom of your feet. Down to the outside tips of your fingers. Out to the tips of your toes, every muscle, every nerve, every cell of your body. You're beautiful, talented, and gifted. Everything we do here tonight, even the silly stuff, is for fun. We're here to have fun with each other. After this night, you're gonna have wonderful memories. Your friends are gonna talk to you about it. They're gonna show you videos. Some of you will remember it. It's gonna be great. It's all fun. The more you do it, the more you enjoy. Let the joy of this experience just be wonderful for you. You deserve it. Yes. Our primary job is to entertain people, but that's not our only job. We have a responsibility to take care of the people who volunteer to be in our show and managing their energy and helping them stay on a positive path is part of that management. It's part of your job as a entertainment hypnotist. Your ability to watch for these things not get tunnel vision as you're working, your ability to scan your group, keep tabs on them, see the signs, know how to handle them, work their energy. These are the greater or deeper or more intricate skills of being a performance hypnotist. And when you do it well, you make your life easier and you get happier clients. When I finished that process, that was it. They all were on track from there. The whole rest of the show was awesome. The whole rest of the show was awesome. And I think there's even a little bit of a 
almost like a FOMO created in the audience where you're giving this nice gift to them. And they're like, Oh, I kind of wish I had, you know, and that's like, whatever, like it doesn't really matter, but I think it, it's, it's almost becomes like sort of presentation, but it has to be authentic. And my goal is always authentically for my people to have the best experience they can have. Not just for me to be the funniest. I don't prove I'm the best by being the funniest or the most powerful. It's taking care of your group and getting the best out of them that you can. And so managing energy is part of that. So I hope this helps you. I hope it gives you something to think about for what you're doing on stage. Stay in touch. Keep coming back for more content like this.